Hey guys, welcome back for another video. What we're going to do today is we'll be breaking down our Oregon versus Wisconsin football game we have coming up for week 12 of the 2024 college football season. We are going to completely break down the matchup, go over both rosters, and try to predict the outcome. Who's going to win, who's going to lose, and what the final score will be. We'll also touch on the betting portion, the money line, the spread, and the over-under as well. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. If you have any comments, please drop them below, and I will respond every week. We go over and every single college football game, the top 25 ones and the non-top 25 ones. And we also go over every single NFL game every week as well. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you're subscribed so you can follow along with us. If you're a football fan, if you're a sports fan, make sure you subscribe to the channel. So number one, Oregon Ducks 10 and 0, the unanimous number one team in the nation playing the best right now. There's no one that's hotter right now than Oregon. They'll be facing off first five and four the Wisconsin Badgers under Luke Fickle. You don't want to sleep on Wisconsin, though. They're 5-4, and four, but this is a team that's actually been playing better probably the last three to four weeks because they've gotten back to Wisconsin football, lining up, running the ball downhill. They have Phil Longo as their offensive coordinator. He loves to run the air raid, but it just hasn't been working because they don't have the personnel right now at Wisconsin and their quarterback, Tyler Van Dyke, he goes down with an injury, lock steps in, so they have to adapt their play style, and they're doing what Wisconsin does best, just running right downhill. But right now, Oregon has a 75.6% chance to win this game. 14 and a half point favorites. The over under here is 52 and a half. The big thing for Oregon, you only have two regular season games left over. Pretty much you've punched your ticket to the Big 12 championship game. Just get through these two games. There's no reason to be running the score up. You're number one. You can't move up any further. No one's closing in on. If you win out, you're going to stay the number one team. Don't leave your starters in too long. Don't try to run the score up. Don't try to get style points. Make sure you get to the Big Ten Championship healthy. If you win the Big Ten, you get the bye week in the playoffs. That means a lot, especially for injuries. You just want to get there right now, and you're probably going to be facing off again versus the Buckeyes. It's hard to beat a good team twice in one season. Right now for Oregon, they have Heisman candidate Dylan Gabriel closing in on 2,900 yards, 22 touchdowns, 5 picks. I think he's... The quarterback with the most passing touchdowns in college football history right now, if not, he's about to break the record, really doesn't mean anything because obviously he's been a starting quarterback for like 35 years right now. And then Wisconsin has a lot closing in on 1,500 yards, eight touchdowns, eight picks, a lot of turnovers there. You have to play a clean game. You got to get the turnovers down to be able to compete with Oregon. Oregon comes in. They have a top five overall roster. They've been recruited well. They've been working the portal. They have a top 10 offense. They have a top 10 defense. They can beat you in multiple different ways. Right now, they're averaging 35.7 points a game, throwing for 296.2, running for 169.3, and only giving up 16 points a game. That is incredible. That's a top 15 national defense statistically. They give up 190 passing yards, 117.6 rushing yards. Very good on both sides, you know, giving up about 310 yards every game. And for Wisconsin, they're averaging 25.1. That's not necessarily good, but it's enough to potentially be competitive if you can keep this game low scoring, if if you can keep it a close one possession game by the second half, crazier things have happened. And they're throwing for 210.2, and they're running for 173.7, which is a pretty good rushing stat. And their defense gives up 21.4 points a game, 169.9 to the air, 164.6 on the ground. So they're giving up about 330, 340 yards every game. That 21.4 points given up on defense. That's actually not bad considering the fact that their defense is on the field a lot because the offense does struggle to get first downs. They're only averaging 25.1 points a game. They're not scoring very much, but they have turnover problems. Turnovers puts your defense back on the field, usually giving them the short side of the field. Wisconsin to beat Oregon, they must play a clean game, and they're going to win this game through their running attack by dominating at the line of scrimmage, which is going to be easier said than done. Oregon was built at the line of scrimmage. They were built to be competitive in Big Ten football, which is running the ball. Right now, obviously, you have Dylan Gabriel closing in on 2,900 yards. He has six rushing touchdowns as well to add to that 22 passing touchdowns. You have Jordan James closing in on 1,000 yards. Tez Johnson's been pretty banged up. But when they're healthy, this is a really good wide receiver core. Johnson, Stewart, multiple weapons, multiple ways they can beat you. And for Wisconsin, they have Locke, 
They have Walker. They have Anthony the second. But it's going to take a clean, perfect game, basically, for Wisconsin to have a chance. They might be able to play it close, you know, first, second. But you have to compete with Oregon for four quarters. Not one, not two, not three. Four quarters of aggressive, pounding football and also spreading it out airing it out, lying it up, running it right down your throat. Multiple ways they're going to line up. It's going to take a lot to be able to beat Oregon here. Can Wisconsin pull it off? I have the Oregon Ducks winning this one. I don't think the game's going to be close. I think it might be close, you know, maybe first or second quarter. But Oregon's going to be able to pull away. I don't have them scoring 50 here because get those starters out the moment the game is in the back. No reason to leave them on the field. No reason to take any chance whatsoever of anyone getting hurt. I have Oregon winning this game 35-17. to I have them covering the spread. That's just barely coming in at the under, but that line's probably going to move by the time that we get to kickoff. But that's our breakdown of our Oregon Ducks versus Wisconsin game. Make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe. If you have any comments, please drop them below, and I will respond. Thank you.